17-year-old David Opateibo, a polytechnic student, is a young man to watch in Lagos these days. He's heading the development of a drone which authorities in Nigeria's commercial capital, Lagos, hope to deploy for security surveillance. The drone, a hybrid mix of existing drone components and locally fabricated materials, seem to fly normally. But David says there's a lot more to improve on it. And perhaps the drone could do a lot more than security surveillance. Aside from using them for surveillance, we can use them for area photography or geography. We can use them for broadcasting. We can also use them for incident control. We can use drones for pipeline and power line inspection. We can use drones in the agricultural sector. We can use them to analyze the, our farm produce by knowing whether it needs fertilizers or not. Lagos Polytechnic has been here for about 40 years. This is the first time the school is venturing into drone technology and the results are already exciting. The school is now keen to invest on building capacity to produce all drone components locally. Our goal is to teach our students on how to build airplanes. And then uh, we found out uh, with the advent of technology, I mean, technology behind drones, drones can achieve some of the things that we want to do with airplanes as well. So we decided that decided to incorporate it into our program. For now, David's drone can last 15 minutes in the air and fly a maximum altitude of 2,000 feet, but he's only allowed to fly at 400 feet to test the drone. Now, as you see, like this now. It has this three sides are slowed down. Are slowed down. And it's continuous discussion among the team members on improving the capability of the first Nigerian-made drone. Kilichia Mekalam, CGT in Abuja, Nigeria. Hey, 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 hey. On the beat is T-Flexing. Hey.